Deputy Minister of Ports and Shipping Nishanta Mutuatigama charges that the instructions issued by President Maitri Palasi Sena with regard to the Habmantara port project have not been implemented. In a letter to the President, Mutuatigama claims that there are clear disparities between the President's observations and the information provided to the Secretary of the Ministry of Ports and Shipping by the Cabinet Secretary S. Abe Singh. In a three-page note to the Cabinet on the 20th of March, the Minister of Megapolis and Western Development, Patali Champika Ranwaka, urged the Cabinet to pay attention to the Memorandum of Understanding and the final concession agreement on the process of transferring the Hambantara port. I have presented my views to the Cabinet. There was a Cabinet committee led by Minister Sarat Amunugama which looked into this. Were you in this committee? No, I was not. However, following extensive discussions on this matter, it was agreed that implementing this concession agreement is not an easy task and that there are major legal, political, social, economical and financial implications. As such, the Cabinet decided to appoint a separate committee of ministers instead of implementing this under the leadership of Dr. Sarat Amulgama. Are you a member of this committee? I have been informed that I am a member of this committee, but I have expressed my views and raised my concerns of this policy matter. The responsibility of implementing this now lies with persons such as Dr. Sarat Amurugama, Investment Minister Malik Samaravikoma, Ports Minister Arjuna Ranatunga and Finance Minister Ravi Karunanayaka, and I believe that it is not necessary for me to be involved in it. I inform the President of this. What is the recommendation of Megapolis and Western Development Minister Patele Champika Ranavaka on the matter of transferring the Hambanta report? It should be transferred taking into consideration the constitution, the laws of the country, the procurement process and national policies. This decision, which will be decisive in determining the future of the country, should not simply be considered as a strategy to alleviate our debt burden. There should be a proper strategic assessment and economic assessment. Unfortunately, there was no proper economic assessment. Deputy Minister Nishanta Mutuhetigama points out in his letter to the President that on the day prior to the Cabinet meeting this week, that is on the night of Monday the 20th, the President had held talks regarding Cabinet Paper No. 83 and Cabinet Note No. 84 concerning the Hambantura Harbour project. Mutuhetigama recalls that considering the points raised by the Ministers at this meeting, the President had presented a document containing his observations to the Cabinet dated the 20th of March. It was decided at the meeting between the President and the Ministers that a subcommittee comprising of five Ministers would be appointed and tasked with reaching a decision on the two aforementioned Cabinet documents. However, Mutuhetigama points out that on Tuesday, the day following the meeting with the President, a letter addressed to the Secretary of the Ministry of Ports and Shipping by the Cabinet Secretary contained decisions that contradicted the instructions of the President. This letter states that Cabinet Paper No. 87-17-0601-753-002 submitted by Minister Sarat Amurgama had been approved by the Cabinet of Ministers. Mutuhetigama informs the President that accordingly a seven-member Cabinet subcommittee had been appointed to take appropriate action to move ahead with this project. Mutuhetigama's letter concludes by requesting the President to turn his attention to this matter and take appropriate decisions. On Tuesday evening, the day of the Cabinet meeting, the Deputy Minister informed the media that a subcommittee had been appointed to take a decision on the Hambanto Report project. However, three additional ministers have been appointed to the subcommittee on Minister Amunugama's Cabinet paper, which led to the disparity. The additional members are the Minister of Development Strategies and International Trade, Malik Samarawikrama, the Minister of Law and Order, Sagala Ratnayaka, and the Minister of Fisheries and Aquatic Resource Development, Mahinda Amarawira.